Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the stuttering or cut up reverb effects in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with some drums, a synth, and vocals. Let's hear what it sounds like now. And I want to add some reverb to the vocals, but I want to create a unique effect, what I call stuttering or cut up reverb. Let me show you how to do it. We'll start off by creating a new track over here. We'll name it Stutter Reverb. Then we'll put a reverb effect on that track right over here on the track effects. I'm going to choose a Reaper plugin that I know you have called Reverb 8. Although this is going to work with any reverb you have. We'll start off turning off the dry, putting the wet full up, make the room size a lot bigger, about 96, bring the dampening down a bit, which decides how bright or dark the reverb is. We'll adjust this as you play it. We could also bring down the top end over here. Just a bit. And again, we'll play with this as it goes along. Now we're going to send the vocal to this reverb. We'll drag in the routing and drop it on this track. And we should send quite a bit. That sounds like a lot, but we're going to need it for this effect and we could adjust it along the way. Now we want to modulate the reverb. So we'll touch the wet knob, which is our volume for now, and go up here and choose parameter modulation. That opens up this dialog where we can modulate that parameter. We'll create an LFO. Let's move this over so you can see it better. We can see it modulates the wet knob which is our output volume for the effect. But it's going a bit too high. So let's bring down the strength to about 50%. And let's switch the sine wave to a square wave. This way it turns on and off and nothing in between. And we can see it jumps from full volume to completely off. And let's change the tempo to be in sync with our song. We'll make it one quarter note and it sounds like this. Notice it creates an upbeat effect. Let's hear it with the other tracks. So that's a stuttering or cut up vocal effect, but we could readjust it and customize it for our own needs. For example, right now it's an upbeat. But we can make it a downbeat by switching the modulation from positive to negative. Then readjust the bass line and the strength to be 100%. Let's bring it down a bit. Let's hear that in the track. Let's try making it faster. Instead of one quarter notes, Let's make it a half or an eighth note.
Let's hear that in the track. Let's reverse the direction for this. Put the bass line all the way down and the strength back to 50%. <laughs> it's a pretty cool effect. But we can go even faster. Let's make it a 16th note or 0.25. We'll switch this back to negative, put the bass line back up, and the strength. <laughs> or 30 second notes if we want. 0.125. Let's put it back to 0.25. Let's make it more interesting by adding a pan to it. We'll go back to the track effects. And after the reverb, let's put a pan. I can use the volume pan smoother. And we can modulate the pan. Just touch it, parameter modulation, create an LFO for this, tempo sync, let's make it a quarter note, and keep it as a sine wave, but center it so it pans back and forth, like this. <laughs> So you can see the possibilities are endless. But it's a pretty cool effect or special effect to change up how we use reverb. But anyway, that's the stuttering or cut up reverb effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>